Hey, what's up, Locker Room Nation? Happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas. If I don't get a chance to uh, shoot another video between now and the holidays. So um, awesome. But I wanted to um, share this with all of you because I'm always looking for the wisdom from my own coaching clients that I get to extract from that and, and hopefully reshare with all of you. So uh, my question to you is what cracks are in your foundation? What cracks are in your business foundation? I mean, hey, after all, we are in the home business, right? What would you say that cracks in a foundation of a home could lead to? Isn't that not safe for the structure? That was something that would be something we want uh, maybe a structural engineer to check out or or whatever the case may be. And even cracks, I mean, shoot, it could it could lead to mold and 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 things like that and bugs and just nastiness, just a bunch of nastiness going on. I might even might stink a little bit just because of cracks in the foundation. So my question is, what cracks are in your business foundation? A lot of you right now, you're cruising right along. You know, and life is good, business is good, and um, maybe a different way of asking that is what are the blind spots? What, what's behind you that you can't see that you need to be aware of so you don't hit that pothole staring right in front of you? Some of you, it's just a systems thing because right now as you're gearing up, right, and, and you're going into the first quarter of 2018, you got big goals, right? And Gary Keller teaches us in MREA, big goals require big systems to, to uh, and, and models, by the way, systems and models, to support those big goals. So wouldn't it make sense right now as you're, you're setting your goals to pay attention to the little details as well, the systems, in, in other words, the checklists that you need to be conscious of? Because I don't know about you, but if you're gonna do the amount of business that most of you want to do, when you're servicing that existing business, like they talk about in Shift, the Shift book, your current business should never take priority over your future business. So what Gary's meaning when he says that is, don't take your off the ball. Just, just because now you've worked so hard and you've got several deals that you have to tend to, doesn't mean you can just neglect your lead generation altogether. And so that's that real estate roller coaster ride. So some of you need to focus on your lead generation systems to make sure it's consistent and predictable. Some of you need to work on your follow-up systems to make sure that's happening on the back end and you can nurture the people who say they're six or nine months out. And other of you, other people, I would argue, the, where the conversation was today with my coaching client is the contract to close process. So here's the thing. If any time you have to do something more than two times, you need to create a system for it. And a system is just simply a, a predictable pattern, right, that you can do something and duplicate it over and over again in a predictable and consistent manner. So if I know I'm gonna do something more than once or twice or three times on and on and on, I should create a system. And that may just be as simple as logging and documenting what you're doing as you're going along. So that provides a checklist that next time you do it, you can simply go back and reference it and tweak and add and delete things as necessary. And what's interesting about this, some of you maybe have a goal of starting a team one day. You're basically creating your standard operating procedure, procedures, your operations manual. All right, that you can turn over to an admin and they can spruce it up from there. But right now, you know, if, if I was logging everything I was doing, contract to close, or once I get a new listing, or once a buyer says they want to work with me, draw out step by step what that requires you to do because a lot of our business has the time is of an essence thing in there, right? So what cracks are in your business foundation? Ask yourself that question. And this time of year is an awesome time to really look at that and get with your coach in your next one-on-one -on -one coaching session and go over that. What are your blind spots? What are the cracks in your business that you need to be aware of so the structure of your business, just like a home, doesn't come tumbling down? You can have a duplicatable and repeatable business year after year, month after month, week after week, if you've got the right systems in place. So it's time to start elevating some of your conversations away from just mindset and getting over yourselves by doing the activities like making a phone call. And now let's transition that into business conversations like uh, systems and models. All right, so I just wanna leave you with that challenge, that question before the holidays. Um, look, hey, unplug, decompress, enjoy. Be present with your family over the holiday and know when to shut it off and know when to turn it on because boy, oh boy, when you turn it on, you better be present there as well. Systems, checklists what cracks are in your foundation. All right, guys, check you later. Bye-bye.